Hey there, gearheads and casual drivers alike. I'm Resto Auto Works, your friendly neighborhood mechanic and engine whisperer. Today, we're gonna dive into a topic that'll make any car lover's heart skip a beat, and not in a good way. Think putting the wrong fuel in a car is just a small mistake? Think again. Let me show you exactly what happens when you mix up your fuels, and trust me, it ain't pretty. This here is your typical gasoline engine. Notice how everything's designed to work with a specific type of fuel, and over here, we've got a diesel engine, completely different beast with its own unique fuel requirements. First up, let's talk about putting diesel in a gas engine. Sounds harmless, right? Wrong. Gasoline engines use spark plugs to ignite the fuel, while diesel engines rely on compression. This fundamental difference is why mixing fuels can lead to some serious problems. Now let's get our hands dirty and see what happens when we put diesel in a gas engine. All right, moment of truth. Let's start her up. Hear that? Or rather, don't hear that. The engine's struggling to start. And when it does, listen to that stalling. It's like it's gasping for air. Oh, and check out all that smoke. Your neighbors are gonna love you for this one. So what's happening inside? The diesel's clogging up the fuel system and damaging the injectors. If you keep this up, you're looking at potential engine failure. Not good, folks. To fix this mess, we need to drain the fuel tank, flush the lines, and replace the fuel filter. It's a time-consuming process that'll have you reaching deep into your pockets. Now let's flip the script. What happens when you put gas in a diesel engine? Time to fire it up. Hear that knocking? That's the sound of regret. You'll also notice a significant loss of power. It's like trying to run a marathon in flip-flops. The real problem here is lack of lubrication. Diesel fuel actually lubricates the engine components. Without that lubrication, you're looking at increased wear and potential failure. To fix this, we need to drain and flush the system and inspect for damage. And let me tell you, replacing a fuel system? That's going to cost you more than a few tanks of gas. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Can't I just pour in some fuel additive and call it a day? Sorry to burst your bubble, but that's a myth. No additive can magically transform gasoline into diesel or vice versa. And so how do we prevent this nightmare scenario? First, always double check the fuel type before you start pumping. Or most modern cars have a fuel filler flap that only accepts the correct nozzle size. But don't rely on that alone. If you realize you've made a mistake, don't start the engine. That'll only circulate the wrong fuel. Instead, leave the car where it is and call for professional help. Remember folks, a little attention at the pump goes a long way in keeping your ride happy and healthy. And if you've already made the mistake, act fast. The quicker you address it, the less damage you'll face. If you've ever had a fuel mix up or have some tips to share, drop them in the comments below. And hey, if you found this info helpful, why not share it with your fellow gearheads? Don't forget to follow Restacado Works on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more car care wisdom. Until next time, keep those engines purring and those fuel types straight. This is Jack signing off.